Hello everyone, welcome back to Yvonne's World of Glamour. Thank you for creating time to tune in. Whatever time you're watching me, be it in the morning, I say good morning. Be it in the afternoon, I say good afternoon. Be it in the evening, I say good evening. Before we start, as our norm states, Jesus comes first because he's the writer and the author of our lives. Let's bow down for a word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this afternoon and for this evening. We say thank you for giving us a chance to partake of you and gain knowledge from you. Holy Spirit of the Father, we welcome you. Be our drive. Help us with the knowledge, whatever you need to equip us with as we begin this session. We thank you, Father, for your God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. <music> So today we are handling the second episode of the nail anatomy. Uh, first and foremost, let me just apologize because this uh, second episode ha has been overdue. I took long to upload it due to unavoidable circumstances, but I'm sorry. For more details, uh, the episode two is going to be divided into several parts. And part one is basically about the products and the tools you need for a basic manicure and a nail preparation first and foremost the main and major tool you need is a consultation workbook don't mind this one this one is from my previous school i don't want to advertise this school that's why i've covered it and it's for the hairdressing but uh, it's supposed to be a beauty i can't locate the beauty one but it's just going to be as a sample this the inside for contains the therapist name the client's name the doctor service to be done condition of the nails all that is uh, covered in here the problem the contraindication on it this one helps you to understand your client more and also to know if the service is worth using or not if it's you can do the service or not because um, there are those contraindications that you really can't work on them and that those ones that you can manage so after the the consultation book you will need to have uh, your hand sanitizer the hand sanitizer helps i'm not going to display the the labels because uh you can use any one any one of your choice that you want and also we don't have to advertise what we are not permitted to advertise hand sanitizer helps you in sanitation sanitation helps you to prevent the transfer transferring microbes from you to a client or from a client to you as a therapist now, this time during COVID uh, period, you have to take extra measures even after sanitizing yourself and the clients. You will also need the gloves for you as a therapist. You'll need hand gloves. And also you will need uh, the mask, facial mask. This facial mask helps, helps you if you have to use the drilling method or the filing method, maybe to remove your enamel. It helps you to, to, to not uh, attract dust into your nostrils which is not good after that you will need uh, an, an enamel remover that is for the normal polish if it's a gel and you have to soak it you will use an acetone or um, rather if you want to go to an advanced uh, method and uh, it is a gel polish you can use a nail drill don't mind mine mine is such an analog one it's it's an old one i've been using it since uh, 2017 when i was a student but we have very nice ones very advanced you can access it if you want to know more about where you can access it kindly chat me on my on my message i i, I promise you i will get back to you so what's uh, another thing that you will need it's the cotton wool cotton wool helps you in the sanitation and also the enamel removal and also to soak in your tools with the sanitizer another thing that you will need it's a cuticle remover cream there is a gel and there is a cream it depends with what you're comfortable with using this one helps you if the the cuticle of a client is too tough you have to soak it inside water so this one helps it to to smooth them faster another thing you will need this tool if you're going to use uh, this cream or the gel this tool helps you you know for the comfort of a client you don't have to soak the client's hand into a basin 
this one is better you just have you just soak in this water and make sure that your water is also also has a disinfectant you don't want to to transfer microbes bacteria into your clients be a watchful and very alert therapist for for the well-being of your business another thing that you will need you will need uh, the soap to help you in the forming and also in the removing of the it, it helps to create an emulsion in the in the removal of dust the impurities and the excess oil that you don't need another thing that you will need is a scrub like i said i'm not advertising the 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 types the brands and all that it's not meant for this day maybe later so you will need the scrub at least to scrub for exfoliation purposes after the scrub you will need uh, the massage oil any massage oil of your choice and remember you don't have to have all these things in big containers you can uh, you can improvise like you see me myself i have put my massage oil in a very cute uh, massage bottle you can use it you can you can advance and just show them in uh, little containers just make sure that you label them so that you don't confuse yourself so those are the products you're going to use let's come to this side of the tools for the tools i have what i call the cuticle pusher after you have soaked your cuticle that is if you're using the soaking method this one helps you to push back the cuticles for easy removal of the cuticles i hope you can see it well second we have two types of nippers there is this one there's this nipper this one helps you to cut off the hang the hanging skin and also the hanging cuticles just make sure you handle it well and before you put it on a client make sure it is sterilized and even after sterilization make sure it is sanitized you don't want to transfer microbes to a client bacteria or even infection from one client to another be a cautious therapist and there i have this pusher if you're not comfortable with this nipper you can always use this particular one it's easy just to go around the cuticle area and also the, the, the hanging skin area then i have an emergency scissor this one will help you at least if you want to cut the cotton all that make sure it is sanitized make sure all your tools metal tools anything that goes to the client it is first sterilized after sterilization you sanitize it sterilization helps to kill the germs even in their probe even if, even in their probe condition but uh, sanitation only but makes them dormant and not able to move from one person to another another thing that you must have it's a nail file this one helps you to file the free edge of the nail to according to the shape that the client desires we also have a buffer this buffer helps you to at least buff file and level smoothen the nails but you just have to understand the elasticity this one it has the strength of 100 and 180 you have to understand how you are using it which one is which one is suitable for a natural nail and for an artificial nail we have this brush it is called a dusting brush this one just helps you to dust off whatever dust that is on the client's nails and all that just especially during enamel application the bondic application the primer application if you get what i mean and we have uh, this brush this brush is used is simply used for cleaning after you have gone every and uh, after you have undergone everything and you now want to clean the client's hand that is if you're doing a basic manicure you use this one to wash the nail area so i guess i have exhausted everything about the basic tools and products that you need so that is the end of the part one of episode two of the nail anatomy uh, kindly get tuned to the part two which is now showing you how to do a nail preparation thank you and remember to subscribe again please invite those people may the peace of the lord be with you bye bye